The Open University has always been about helping people to study when they want, where they want and how they want. Their MBA programme combines flexibility with an unrivaled support network across the UK and around the world. Sharon Thomas went to their stunning headquarters in Milton Keynes to find out more. Established in 1969, the Open University was a major educational innovation of the late 20th century that demonstrated the ability to deliver quality learning at scale. Established in 1983 on the OU model, the business school, the only non-campus based school to hold triple accreditation, is also the only school to specialise in practice based learning. I think the main distinguishing feature is our powerful learning methodology. For the individual, this means that they can harness their everyday work as a platform for learning. What they learn today, they can put into practice today. It's nearness learning because we use technology to bring students close together, to bring the tutor close to the students, and above all, to bring ideas close to practical application. When I was lecturing at my previous institution, I lectured to a class of 450 students. Couldn't make out the colour of their jerseys in the back row. That's distance learning. The majority of students studying the Open University MBA are currently working as managers, like Al Shah, who works full-time for GlaxoSmithKline. My current role as social media service management is to try and get the organisation to embrace social media, share more about each other, and what I've brought into it from the MBA is um, how we can do a cultural change, how we can um, change the organisation from the from the paradigm that we had in the past of how we regimentedly uh, approach things. Changing those ways of working into this kind of new open sharing culture was radically different and the material from the OU helped me to achieve that. I used some models like Johnson's Web that looked at the current paradigm in terms of the kind of six facets of um, what stories and myths there are around, what power, power structures there are, etc. All that kind of model but applying it in real life. What I found with the flexible learning and reading in my own time was that they were, um, they were formulated in towards a TMA, that's a tutor marked assignment. And throughout the course, you have three or four of them that I have to hit at certain times. What those assignments were, were those, the questions were worded in a way that it made you take an everyday um, problem in the workplace and look at it from a completely different perspective. Uh, you know, I just welcome your advice about Bringing learning flexibility alongside work by using online technologies is a hallmark of the Open University. What we're trying to do is design um, three aspects of their learning experience for them. Um, the content and materials and the learning activities, um, the tuition and the support that they get from their associate lecturers and the assessment that we do for them. We've had a number of students who've been recognised by the Association of MBAs, including one submarine captain who, who managed to take uh, one of his exams while on exercise in the submarine. In higher education, the big problem is inert knowledge uh, throughout higher education. What's inert knowledge? Inert knowledge is all of that knowledge that you pick up as you're studying and gets used only ever for exams, never actually makes it into application in the real world. A really important part of what we do, of course, is that we work with people who are learning at the same time as they're working. And they're working in contexts that are really importantly uh, relevant to, how uh, to the things they're studying. So what, so what happens is it means that people can use their work as an important resource for their learning, as well as using their learning, learning as an important resource for the work. The work and learning are informing each other all the time. Nearness through the technology is one thing, but the human side is also there through residential schools, the small groups of like-minded students who are able to meet online as well as face-to-face, -face, and by the OUBS team that is alongside every student. Often people come out of a, a training course, they, they think they've understood what they need to do, but they don't apply it because there's a disconnect between the working life and, and what they've just learned. The OU material is nothing like that. The assignments are, are geared towards you having to use real work examples in your assignments. The Open University Business School has completely changed my outlook to life for the better. It's given me a, a better perspective on my home, life, work balance, everything. It's just so much better now.
With its established practice-based approach, flexible methodology and expertise in nearness learning, an Open University Business School MBA develops the student and contributes to solving current business problems for international businesses, indeed for companies and organisations of any size anywhere in the world, on land or under the sea.